Welcome to another Greg vs. Meg Challenge brought to you by the best things in life, which are still free with minimum purchase at participating dealers. Hello, I'm Andrew Schultz. Today, the Greg vs. Meg series has brought us to Vanier Collegiate, where the grade 12 class has set up today's challenge. Our competitors are in for quite a treat today with the obstacle course the grade 12s have designed. Now it looks simple, but the students have dubbed it the Widowmaker. Let's head down to the course for a closer look at our competitors. Greg Fornes, the mixed morning show host, is showing a strong effort so far in these challenges. Especially when he brought out the amazing dance moves we saw in the Hot Wing Challenge. However, his mad skills have yet to claim him a victory. If I were a betting man, I think it could be time for a comeback. Megan Nash, the Mix Afternoon host, came out very strong in the first challenge, winning, as you may remember, by one hug. She certainly brought her A-game to the Hot Wing Challenge, but Brandon's insanity sauce really made her lose her focus and forced her to concede to a tie. As it stands, Megan is still up one to nothing in this series. We'll find out today if Greg makes that comeback for a tie, or if Megan will secure her lead. I chatted earlier with our competitors down on the floor about how they're preparing for the obstacle course. Well, I guess uh, for the most part, the strategy at this point, not knowing exactly what we're going to be doing, uh, is just focusing on all-round health and, and, and energy and stuff. I trained by destroying a large shamrock shake before this, so that's kind of my secret. I'm hoping that the energy from the shamrock shake actually gives me an edge in this whole thing. That's really all the strategy I got. Uh, only nervous in the fact that uh, I might lose to a girl, and uh, that's a kind of shame that I, I don't know if I want to live with. Determination, you know, it's all about determination, giving it 110%, making things happen. Uh, really, w w other than that, these have all been so close, it, it's just who wants it more, really, at this point. I'm in it to win it. Greg is feeling confident about capturing a victory today. But Megan is feeling just as good. You know, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. The last couple challenges, you know, they were tied. It was, uh, it was even. Not this time. This time, I'm bringing in the big I don't need strategy. You see, what I have this farm. So growing up on the farm, you know, by the time I was five years old, doing biceps. Girls. With pigs. You know what I mean? Greg doesn't have that. Forrest doesn't have that. What I'm not happy about with those other... Uh, with other winnings, like the other time I won, it was it was close to a tie. So I'm not. I just I want to really, you know, for lack of a better word, dream him. You know what I mean? I want to win by a long shot to really secure my my title as champion. Ornis, you're going down. Tough talk from Megan. Let's see if she can bring it when it counts. Our competitors look ready now. Let's head down to the course where Coach Broda will get this party started. On your mark. to start but still running neck and neck the first part of this challenge they have to do at least three somersaults down the mats still running a close close match here neck and neck Greg and Meg battling it out for who is better right now they have to put on their hockey equipment that they wear for the rest of the course or at least they keep on uh, at least one item of this hockey equipment must stay on and Megan is the first one to get her equipment on to head back down the gym now she has to do at least three cartwheels or variations thereof Greg trailing behind but uh, trying to maintain that lead Megan keeps going she's lost her helmet now but that's okay she needs to keep at least part of the equipment on so she still has her pads on that's okay Greg losing his helmet and a pad but he's getting the go ahead it's okay he still has that one pad on oh no and Megan has made a big mistake losing her lead she did not have to go and do the bat spin just yet what she had to do is go now and do the army crawl 
uh, through the benches, but it looks like she confused Greg, too. He started to do the bat spin there first. Megan is still keeping that lead up. She's through the benches and heading back now. Now it's time for them to do their bat spin. Greg is still hanging in there. He lost a pad. He's got to get it back on there to stay in this game because they need to keep at least, uh, at least uh, some of the equipment on uh, that they put on. Now Megan finishing up her spins, and she's out of the gate a little bit tipsy, but she's keeping that lead. Now she has to head down and make a three-point shot from the line. Where's Greg? There he is. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. The man has regained his, his uh, composure. He's now moving straight ahead, not in a crooked line. Now it all comes down to this. Which one of these two competitors will make that three-point shot first? They could take all the time they wanted in the rest of the course, but this, as always, is where it counts. If you cannot make this shot before your competitor, then there is just no hope for you. You can be as fast as you want on the rest of the course, but oh, and there's Greg making that three-point shot before Megan. Megan still has a chance here. Greg still has to cross the line. Megan doesn't make the shot. Greg yeah! has crossed the line. He has claimed his first victory today. Let's head on down to the course and see how our champion is feeling. I got one. Got one. Eat it. Eat it, Megan Nash. Enjoy the fruits of loss. Is there any point in time that you thought you weren't going to make it? Oh, uh, pretty much everything until I sunk that last basket. I was pretty sure this was going to be done. Now, you almost lost your footing after the baseball spin. How'd that feel? <laughs> uh, not good, man. Not good. I was really dizzy. And I didn't think I was going to stand up straight for a while. Victory is sweet. As always, the loser must receive punishment for their loss, and today is no exception. Megan must now face the grade 12 class for one minute in one-sided dodgeball. Toast, Greg Cornish. Don't worry about that. Are you gonna have a lot of bruises? You think? It's only my brutal. pride. Only your pride, pride, eh? Only my pride, Andrew. Only my pride. Next time, Cornish is going down. The only thing that that got me was my lack of hand-eye coordination with the basketball throws. Other than that, I had it in the bag. And you've got the proof. Next time, down. There you have it. The comeback has begun. The series is now tied one to one. A big thank you goes out to the grade 12 class at Vanya Collegiate for setting up this challenge. And a big thank you to Coach Broda for making it all happen. I'm Andrew Schultz reminding you to like our Facebook page, search up Mix 103, and find us through discovermoosejaw.com so you don't miss a minute of the next 